Hello everyone, my name is Narin and in this session let's talk about how to paint. I'm not kidding really, let's talk about how to paint using MS Paint and the Bucket Tool. Let's talk about how to implement the Bucket Tool or let's talk about how to solve the flat fill problem. This particular question was asked in interviews of many famous companies like Facebook and Amazon. Have you ever seen MS Paint? If you would have not used MS Paint, in that there is a tool called as Bucket Fill. You select a new color and click on the section of any image. The whole that particular section gets colored with a new color which you have selected. This particular algorithm is called as Flood Fill and let's see how to implement this algorithm. Now the problem statement is given a two dimension array with all the different colors values in it and also given the position where the bucket tool bucket coloring tool was clicked and also given the new color which we were supposed to fill all we need to do is fill with the new color in the section where the brush tool the bucket tool was clicked in this case this particular image was represented in two dimension array where all the red color is represented with a value 2 in it and all the green color is represented with the value 1 okay now if i take the bucket tool and click on this section that means on the red section the whole red section should be colored as black the whatever say value 3 in that case what we need to do is consider we should make this as black color what we need to do is traverse through the two dimension matrix and find the connected uh, the network of this red color and replace with the new color. Let's see how to solve this problem. Given this uh, problem statement of two dimension array with all the color values in it and also given the position where uh, the bucket tool was clipped that is 2 comma 2 that is over here and the new color which we were supposed to replace that is value 3 okay now how to solve this problem now all we need to do is do a dfs or pfs traversal to figure out the whole section and then meanwhile keep replacing the color the previous color with a new color how do we do that when we do dfs or bfs we figure out all the connected components in here we will come to know this is a connected component and replace the value over here to change the color from red color to black. So how do we do that? So now let's go to the clicked position that is 2 comma 2. In here we have to maintain a stack if you want to implement the DFS that is a stack. Uh, so I'm going to write it here. Uh, so with because of the space constraint and also we need to maintain a temporal variable called visited where all the visited nodes are added there. So from here what we need to do is first add it to visited that is uh, so for the reference I'm going to write the coordinates fine okay so we are here at 2 comma 2 so the visited value is 2 comma 2. So from here what we need to do is we have to figure out all the valid neighbors. So what is the criteria to figure out the valid neighbor? So the valid neighbors are the one who has, so in this case, the neighbors are this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, this one, this one. So it is like diagonally up, down, left, and right, and down, okay? So in this case, the valid neighbor is, which has the same value of the click cell. So the click cell color is two. Now, all the neighbors which have the value two are valid neighbors. In this case, the valid neighbors are this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. So add all of them to the stack. So in this case, so this one we have already visited, we have updated there. In the stack, what we need to mention is this one, that is one comma two, okay? And this one, one comma three, this one, two comma three, three comma three, and this one is 3 comma 2 and this one 3 comma 1 so once we add it to the stack we have to take the value which is there in the top of the stack that is 3 comma 1 so go to 3 comma 1 and then 
do continue this travel. Before going back, we have to replace the value from 2 to our new color that is 3. So once we do that, take the value which is in the top of the stack and then go to that position that is 3 comma 1. That is we come here and then add this particular node to the visited list that is 3 comma 1. Okay, now replace this value with a new value find out the valid neighbors so in this case the valid neighbors are only these two that is 3 comma 2 and 3 comma 0 add that to the stack so 3 comma 0 okay we have to remove the already visited one so 3 comma 0 we have added and then we have to add 3 comma 2 so from the top of the stack again take out the next coordinate that is 3 comma 0 and then go to that coordinate that is 3 comma 0 here and figure out the valid neighbor so in this case there are no valid neighbor just replace the value and add it to the visited node that is 3 comma 0 okay now it is done now since we don't have any valid neighbor all we need to do is go back to the stack and then go to that position in this case 3 comma 2 go to 3 comma 2 here and figure out all the valid neighbors in this case the valid neighbors are this one this one only okay since these already changed the values have changed in this case the valid number is 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 3 okay now and also replace the value from there to 3 okay now it's done now we go to the top of the stack and then take out the value that is 3 comma 3 that means we come here and then replace the value add it to the visited 3 comma 3 and now figure out the valid neighbors this one and this one only in this case 2.3 2 comma 3 that is 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 3 i'll add here so now go back to the stack take out the top one go to that position since oh, i'm sorry it's 3 comma 4 go back to the stack and take out that value go to that position figure out the valid neighbors so in this case so add this also here in this case the valid neighbors are this one and this one that is 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 5 that is 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 5 go back to this so done now go back to the stack go to 3 comma 5 replace here with the one so add it to the visited list now what you need to do is figure out the valid neighbors there are no valid neighbors so not to do anything, go back to the stack and then check 2 comma 3. 2 comma 3 is here. Go here, replace it, add it here, 2 comma 3. Get all the valid neighbors. In this case, these two are the valid neighbors. That is 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 3. This one and this one. And next, go to the top of the stack and take out. Go to 1 dot 3, replace add it to visited and now what you need to do is uh, there are valid neighbor is one dot so this is one comma two add it here and then go to the tax go to that position replace it okay and now add it to one comma two okay now there are no other valid uh, neighbors here go back to the stack go to one dot two that is 1.2, it is already visited. So we don't need to do anything, 2.3, already visited, remove from the stack, 2.3, already visited, 3.2, already visited, 3.3, already visited. I guess all are already visited, so our stack is empty. That means that the, the flood fill is done, the color has been replaced. Now this color is supposed to look like the black one. After replacement, I think that's it. Get the code for flood fill in here. I have a variable called IMG. That is the image, uh, two dimension representation of an image. In here, there are different kind of colors. Color with one, and these are the position where it is colored one, and this is zero, this is two. So in here, I have I'm calculating length of row. That is the uh, the rows uh, you can think of excel sheet like these are rows and uh, 
and length of column will be these the elements inside any given matrix that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 yep so that one and then there is a global variable called visitor that will be empty and as and when we traverse we'll fill all the coordinates into this visited um, array so that we won't do the um, traversal again and again on the same path so this function here calculates the neighbor for any given um, cell in the matrix say for example for this particular matrix which is a uh, cell which is highlighted in the yellow color for this the neighbors are eight neighbors that is this one this one this one this one this one and all of this surrounding cells in case of this particular cell the neighbors are only these three okay and now uh, in here we are just returning all the eight possible neighbors so this is a flood fill function in here so yeah uh, so flood fill function so it takes a cell coordinate that is row and column and the color that is current color and the color which we are supposed to replace and here there is a little bit of validation that any given um, row id or row index shouldn't be less than zero and shouldn't be greater than the length of row that is shouldn't be going out of the matrix and the same for the column validation and the most important thing is we should be always making sure that the traversal any given cell while we are traversing should be uh, equal to the color current color which is given here so in case of if it is not equal there is no need to travel so you just return from there otherwise replace with the new color which we have given uh, as an argument to this function uh, then moving forward um, so next you need to append the current traverse um, row and column pair uh, or the cell index to the visited uh, global variable and then you have to calculate all the possible direction from the given cell um, we can traverse that is all the different moves available for any given cell that is r comma c so then we have to keep looping over these possible moves and for every move you calculate uh, you call the flood fill again and it keeps traversing um, and it, it, this is basically doing dfs over here so next we'll move on to the function flood image uh, this is just a helper function in which it is printing input uh, here uh, the follow up is printing the input rows and um, then fr from the uh, this is the point where we have to start um, filling the new color that is replacement point and you call the flood fill function with the replacement point that is r comma c which will be replaced when i when in python when you do star dot star replace underscore point then you have to supply the current color and the replace color that's it here we are printing the output let's see how this um, code works so python 2 flood fill so it is printing input and here you can see the same input which we have in the code and the output here is uh, this one so we started our flood fill from the place 4 comma 4 that is uh, 0 1 2 3 4 and uh, 4 here yes we started from here and uh, that means that we should be filling all the connected segment in this um, with the value 2 so that means you can see over here all the twos here are replaced with 3 and same goes with the here also and here also because they are all connected so it's filling it's flood filling the new color now, now that you understood how to solve the flood fill problem and also see the code, I am leaving the link to the code on the description. And if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and also please share this video with your friends. Thanks a lot.